trying to bridge the digital divide at a local school district. Local four cameras rolling as new devices are handed out, but demand is still greater than supply. It's a challenge we have seen play out in several districts. So many students needing new devices for remote learning. But the supply chain hasn't been able to keep up. Today, Local Force Paula Tutman shows us one district pulling together to answer the call for help. So Wayne Westland Community Schools is just one of these districts that's been caught in this supply chain problem. In other words, they ordered devices, but there is such a demand, they just haven't been able to get them. Well, today, that did change for their ninth and 10th graders. <laughs> for the Arnold family, the first days of virtual learning have been tough. I have my, my work laptop, and then they needed their own for school, obviously. So it's been tough sharing one laptop between the three of us. And it is not enough to have a digital device, but the right device to receive lessons, to be able to actually see the work, and to be able to shift to that virtual learning model. My husband and I, we have to cut them out at a certain time so the kids can log onto our phones so they can attend class. So that's been a little challenging, especially with our work schedules. In the Wayne Westland Community Schools District, it's not that they didn't order the devices, it's just that the supply chains ran out of them because every district is scrambling to get every student what they need at the same time. But even before their shipment came in, the community answered the call for help. We had people from the community willing they said I don't have much to give but I have a laptop I can give to you guys so just hearing that I mean it touches you in the heart and it just shows the, the sense of community that we have here in Wayne Westland Community Schools. But yesterday a back order did arrive and it was all hands on deck. We had parapros, teachers, administrators, custodians, anybody and everybody we could, unboxing, getting these Chromebooks ready. A few more cups of water were poured into the nearly empty bucket when the ninth and 10th graders received 2,500 Chromebooks. The school district had distribution down to a well choreographed dance. Login information. I thought there was going to be a line around the building. Everyone was friendly and it was just really quick. You're in and out. It's going to be great because they all get their own little section. They don't have to fight over the uh, the one home based computer that we have. I'm just grateful that they were doing this. I don't know how a lot of parents were going to be able to do this. Um, homeschooling things. So. so the district isn't done, not yet. It still has grade levels with children who don't have the devices they need to call their own. But this is an example of just the everyday, up at dawn, four wheel on the fly, game on attitude. One district is putting in to get children educated in this less than ideal environment. Perfect. I'll be right back. Paula Tutman, Local 4. There you are.